Hi, I'm Janelle Shires, Youth and Family Program Director here at the Center for Spiritual Living in Seattle. Thanks for joining us today. These videos are for you as adults in a child's life to watch when it's convenient and then to share the message with your children when it works for your family. If you're in the Seattle area, we have in-person youth program here at 11 o'clock from kindergarten and up. We'd be really grateful to have you join us. Make sure you click on subscribe below so that you're notified when more videos are posted. We are doing the month of creative play using the golden thread of truth curriculum. And today's lesson is on the sound of spirit. So music is a powerful gateway to connect to our spiritual nature, our divine source. I know for me, music can transport me to a higher blissful place. Um, it's how we use music for when we want to heal, to be inspired, to have that little touchstone for us, to bring back some memories and to connect with spirit. So it really does that heart good when we have music in our lives. And many of the religions in the world use music in their services, their rituals, their expressions. I know that as a mom, my daughter, when she was in teen program here, had one of the youth advisors play Enya when they were doing group connection activities. So when she was having a hard day at home or just feeling a little blue during the winter, she would put Enya on and that would uplift her spirit. That connected her to her spirit, to her community, and to have that recollection. Dr. Emoto, a physician and a scientist, he did some studies on the effects of water with different types of music and how crystals formed. I'll put some information down that below for you. But given how much of our body is water, so just think how music might affect us. So I want you to try something. Um, you can pick whatever song you want, but pick something kind of meaningful, like a favorite song of your child's and then have them read, just read the lyrics. Don't sing them, just say them. And kind of feel what that is for you. Then have your child or you sing those lyrics and feel the difference. Just the reciting probably was more of a eh, flat, dull kind of feeling. But when you got to sing it, then it was more uplifting and that heart connection to it, making it something more special for you. So where do you have music in your life? Do you sing while you're cooking? Do your children sing in the shower? Do you sing together in the car? So just feel what that's like and how we can incorporate that music and connection in our lives. And why do we call music the sound of spirit? Well, we're all one with spirit, and with that music, it's connecting us to that spirit, so it's always present. And we get to feel that in our being. So an activity for you to do, there's a couple, but just make a joyful noise around your house. Um, put on some music, drum on the table, clink your glasses at dinner. If you have younger children um, using a um, toilet paper roll, you can make a kazoo. There's just a variety of ways you can make a joyful noise around your, joyful noise around your home. So give it a go and let me know how it works for you. Pop me a comment down below or send me an email. My info's listed. And thank you for joining us and happy Sound of Spirit.